Hey ladies and gentlemen, I am back and you're going to see a little indiscrepancy in this video particularly uh, because I originally started uh, in another location and right now I'm basically having to do a reintroduction of the video because uh, it was not recorded the, en the entry uh, beginning of the video that I recorded originally in the actual original location it got uh, corrupted and ruined on me, so now I'm trying to redo it uh, from scratch in a new location. So you'll see some discrepancies when you see it as one whole cohesive video. But I'm explaining to you guys so that you know what happened. So basically this is a video review of a new episode of Toys in My Closet, and I'm showcasing here the do xx human revolution uh <clears throat> what's his name i think it's adam jensen uh <clears throat> from uh play arts kai and as uh you guys may or may not know this is a first person action espionage style uh stealth game that came out on the 360 this figure is uh, the depiction and interpretation of the 360 version. DuoSex has also had a continuation uh, or a continuing story in DuoSex uh, Human uh, Destruction or something like that. I forgot the actual title of it. For came out for PS4 and for Xbox One in this generation. Um, now, uh, his design, uh, I don't know how different and drastic it is in comparison. I believe he has a leather jacket in the new one. But as you guys can see here, I have uh, him standing here on one of these uh, stands uh, that I got separate from him that are usually the stands that you see people use and that come normally with figures like uh, Hot Toys. But I got these as a bundle pack on the aftermarket. And I got a good price for them. Got like five stands for like, uh, I think it was $15. But they're good stands and very reliable. They get the job done. And you'll see here's the packaging with the older style of Play Arts Kai, which is the blister bubble open in the front, which a window with no flip, uh, flip front like you saw me with my previous video with uh, Drake <clears throat> of, of Uncharted, uh, Uncharted 3. That is like a window box, but it has a lid in the front or a door, if you will. You open it up and it has some uh, more detail. Because this was actually in the beginning run of Play Arts Kai when they started to uh, get uh, better quality or higher quality, if you will, for their figures, their packaging, and things of that nature. Um, so, uh, again, uh, we're going to go through the packaging real quick. And uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it and, you know, uh, I'm fair enough with the comprehension of this video. Uh, so we'll move Jensen here to the side with his actual pieces and concentrate on the packaging. As you can see here, it says, uh, do a sex there, human evolution, with the seal of approval of quality of Play Arts Kai and a nice uh, metallic gold with a nice sheen and in and, and the cover and then we have here side profile where you see wonderful production shots of the figure on the side and they're each different in their own respects there's four here he looks like a neo from the matrix here and i can't help but to resist thinking that his design and even his look of his face is very inspired by Neo from Matri from the Matrix, which is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. It looks awesome. And then here, as you guys notice, is uh, two other figures that were from the set and the line, which I never picked up, uh, which uh, were part of this series, which was uh, Yel uh, Yelena Fedor uh, Fedoro Fedorova, I think it is Fe Fedorova and then Lawrence Barrett. So I'm not sure how uh, good and clear this is coming in, but these are some nice production shots here too. Uh, 
of the figure, uh, as you see here, uh, of him. And then we'll go to the side. And you have some more shots here, as you see. Very nice of the actual figure. Back to the front, the bottom, Square Enix with the seal label of approval, knowing and authenticating that it's real. And then it's an open blister in the top. It's a Square Enix branch. Products of Black Label Collectors. As you see here, it says Adam Jensen. And then in the back, obviously Square Enix. And a synopsis in the Japanese uh, uh, wording and writing, which I don't know how to read, obviously, and translate. But yeah, that's pretty much it as far as the packaging goes. Very nice packaging. Very familiar in the traditional sense. Uh, and uh, again, we'll move in Jensen. Here's the figure. Move it back a little. And uh, just, I hope you continue with the uh, rest of the video. Where I go in more details to uh, talk about uh, Jensen here. Uh, stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy, guys. Sorry for the little subtle changes and then differences. I hope you guys understand, and uh, I hope you give me a uh, show me love, regardless. Thank you. Sorry for that, people. The, the phone came right out of the trolley thingy and fell right out. Uh, uh, forgive me. Um, so this is, like I said, the the traditional older box and packaging from Play Arts that uh, obviously uh, were how they started. So uh, we're going to go into the figure right now. Here we go. Here is Adam Jensen and uh, in his whole glorify glory. What we'll do is we'll start off with the two extra pieces that he came with, which are cybernetic hands uh, that came with it. I don't know uh, the reason why the reason why they came with running out or wearing out and not ever sticking right ever again. Um, uh, so again, uh, this is uh, another one. This is the right and the left. And those are the two extra pieces he came with. Now, Jensen himself, as you guys are going to see here, uh, looks incredible. Um, I actually bought this stand here. These are stands they use traditionally for figures like uh, Hot Toys. Um, you know, like the Hot Toys figure. But I figured uh, to use them for them because they're pretty nice looking and sleek. And it's black and it matches him. And it's very hard to find a nice stand that matches that it's in black, uh, uh, you know, uh, for for the figure itself. I'm trying to actually see if I can zoom out. There we go. Uh, give me one second. Uh, as you see here, uh, it says adult collectible right there. It's a sticker that come with. You can put different stuff. And here's Jensen in his glory. And I really have to say, I'm not a big fan of the, of the, of the game because it's, it's first person, but it's also, I just push them right up. These are also very convenient to use these tins. I'll push this here. To the side. But it, it's first person, but the thing is that it's uh, first person, um, but um, it's first person, but it's uh, has like some, like, espionage tactical style like you got to do a lot of stealthy and it's not just really run and shoot even though i think you have the option to do that in the game uh where well, you can play it that way uh i never really got into it and i own both games to be honest with you but my boys actually love it and enjoyed it and beat them both i think here's his uh actual i guess is what would be his machine rifle this is BFW right there. A lot of details here in these inscriptions in the holster or the balancer holder. Very, 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 very accurate interpretation of the gun in the game. Has like a light uh, tone of military green. 
with some gunmetal black here, here, and the top here, and the handle over here and where you pump it or where you hold it, and over here in the crest area of uh, the balancer and in the back. Right? Really, really nice. Really, really nice. Nicely, nicely detailed. Really nice. I'm hoping. Yeah, there you go. Really nice. And that is the only weapon he comes with, unfortunately. I guess because that's really the main weapon he uses. And, like I told you guys before, his blade in his hand. And you see how nice and shiny his arms are with these little red uh, points of detail colored. I guess it would be like bolts, main bolts for his hand. He has open hands. And these are the blades coming out here, as you can see. On both sides, I start off with a black and tune it into a nice gray, kind of like the design they did for the Xbox One X. And we have these nice traps of of his uh, bullets there for I mean of gun gun strap uh, I mean uh, magazines. His military green metal vest, his bodysuit, and then he even has the detail of. The bolts in his suit, as you can see. Very nicely detailed. And then he has nice highlights here of, of kind of a yellowish, mustardish color. Strap on the side. This was probably where he had some blades. Straps in the back and highlights in the buttocks area. Nice metal uh, endoskeleton spinal cord looking thing in the back here. The figure, even though it's plastic, if you look at it up close, and maybe it tra I hope it translates well on the camera, almost looks like real, like real metal. Like if the figure was made out of metal. Detail in the back, of a sculpting of his hair, as you can see, it's nice and shiny. This is a blotch of like glue or something that I guess came like that, and the figure didn't notice till now. The collar. And his face is phenomenal. It's an amazing, amazing uh, likeness of Jensen in the game. With his, you know, uh, engra in in engraved uh, cybernetic glasses that let him see through walls and stuff like that. Uh, but if you notice, if you notice, Jesus Christ, this is getting me really upset right now. If you notice these, uh, oh my God, hold on people, he has that metal shrapnel piece there stuck to his head as a detail. If you notice these uh, glasses, cybernetic glasses are drilled and surgically implanted into his face. Uh, but they come in and out and 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 morph like they were part of his regular face or sculpt or rather like uh, the inside of his head like it come right out of his eyes or his or, or of his uh, skull and his face. Uh, he has nice uh, detail going down. These are his. Uh, I want to say shoes, boots. I think they're probably boots, but they're supposed to be hiding here with the. Belt with you know with the uh, bells of the uh, pants obviously covering it really nice uh, with a nice tone black as you can see um, and he's uh, he has a nice range of articulation you know starting from his head obviously he goes left and right up up down. Up. Not so much as up, but more down. He has a torso cut there. I believe he has a yeah a waist cut as well. Obviously the butterfly to put him in better dynamic poses or more acrobatic uh, martial arts type poses because he does martial arts. Uh, the shoulder, you know, full rotation. You have full rotation on the shoulder. 
you have the upper bicep uh, you have the upper upper bicep uh, what you call it the upper I'm trying to turn it here sorry people you have the upper uh, oh my god the upper bicep here uh, you know uh, here a swivel or cut he has the joint and a single ratchet joint on his elbow and then obviously on his wrist he, and he has the uh, a ball joint where you can actually have a uh, all type of range of movement whether circular or not for the hands same thing with the other side of his arms or his hands and um let me see what else uh he can split this much out, as you can see, and he has the traditional two hinge single uh, double hinge knee, and then front, back, very minimal, and some rotation and no and some pivot. Got some pivot. See. On both hands. Um, here you go. So Jensen, uh, I was uh, again, I got him when he first released. Uh, when the game was released in the 360. Uh, three, is is the one thing I will say is legs, kind of are are, are weak. Uh, they get kind of like very. Droopy after a while. Uh, I guess maybe this was a QC issue with maybe mines uh, or maybe all of them. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, I don't know. I haven't really seen a lot of people review him. So I figured I'd give him a whirl uh, for my fans and people that uh, follow me that like to see things from my collection. I collect a lot of figures from video games. Uh, he's an incredible sculpt, he's an incredible figure. Uh, and the aftermarket, I don't know if he goes for a lot of money because I don't think he's popular, so I don't think he's high price. So you might be lucky enough to find him for a very fair price still for all you fans of him that may not have known that they actually made a figure of him. Um, and if you, uh, and you know, and, and, and if he is pricing, you know, all I can say is please forgive me. I didn't, I'm not trying to give you false information. It's just I, I haven't really looked him up. Uh, to see how he's, how much he's pricing, he is part of my one of my grails, like meaning one of my more important figures because he's rare, and I know he's hard to find, and um, I really enjoy him very much as a piece in my collection, and I hope that he'll last me a very long time, uh, and I and he can continue his legacy, obviously with my kids because they're familiar with him, as they get older, become men and have their kids, um, and they can keep them in their collection as well. Um, I hope you guys like the review, and here's, like I said, here's the stand, which I also bought separate in, uh, se separately, uh, I bought it in eBay, I think it was, or Amazon, I got five of them for like $12 or $15, they traditionally used more for, for, uh, hot toys, but they serve their purpose with these play art kinds as well, I like the fact that they're black and match well with the figure, um, and they're not that expensive, and they they, they 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 you know they do a good job in in keeping uh, the figure stand very well, and you're not having to worry about the figure falling and maybe breaking on you, uh, wherever you may have them, po you know, uh, positioned or or posed. So yeah, guys, um, I hope you you really enjoyed the review of uh, Adam Jensen, uh, the way I have. Um, sorry for the fiddling of the camera, I, I do this by myself, free-handed, and just with a little holding trolley for my phone, sometimes it acts funny, so forgive me for that, I'm going to try to get that situated so it doesn't happen to me in future reviews, um, but if not, at least you know it's real, and it's not me with any professional equipment being, you know, phony, it's more like a realistic type of style review from an actual fan and collector that just enjoys doing this for the f sake of me loving 
uh, and enjoying collecting toys. So uh, give me a comment, a like, uh, share, subscribe if you like. Uh, and uh, like I said, give me some feedback in the comments, letting me know uh, if you guys want to see me do any changes or any type of fiddling with uh, my reviews, if you want me to add anything different, uh, any maybe a new back, uh, some different uh, like a style in the background or something, so I can try to figure it out just to keep it fresh and keep you guys interested when you watch them. So thanks again for your support. Thanks for coming and viewing this on my channel and uh, it really means a lot to me i really appreciate you guys love you and see you soon uh with the uh, master chief review